Now is Mr. D'Esposito, the gentleman from New York, for five minutes of questioning. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, sir, for being here this afternoon. Uh, the Department of Homeland Security grants clearances to state, local, tribal, territorial uh, law enforcement officers. Once in receipt of an approved clearance nomination for a uh, SLTT law enforcement officer who supports the DHS mission, the DHS Office of the Chief Security Officer or a DHS uh, component with its own personal security unit will either grant the clearance or deny the clearance based on uh, the background investigation. The committee has learned that there exists a serious backlog of issuing security clearances to these state, uh, local, and tribal territorial law enforcement officers. In one department alone, uh, they currently have nearly 20 members of service who are still waiting on the process of the security clearances and it's been more than a year without any follow-up um, by uh, your office for most of them, and there's actually a handful of them that are waiting two years, uh, obviously resulting in a serious backlog in which law enforcement officials are unable to attain, obtain the essential information uh, that they need in order to conduct investigations, and it's having a negative effect on their ability to receive and use that intelligence that's critical to not only doing their job, but keeping uh, their communities and this country safe. Uh, so really a, a yes or no question. Um, do you have a responsibility in providing SLTT law enforcement officers access to intelligence products, including some at the classified level, as well as granting or denying security clearances to these law enforcement officers based on uh, their background investigation? Just yes or no? Yes, we're involved in the clearance process, yes. Okay, so are you aware that there exists a serious backlog stemming from um, your office being able to provide these clearances? Uh, yes, and I've been very focused on our role, our role as well as the security officer's role. Okay, well, I mean, do you agree that the that if the SLTT law enforcement officers are, are unable to obtain uh, this information, it's obviously gonna result in a negative effect on their ability to receive and utilize or even obtain this information? Absol absolutely, sir. And you, look, you put your finger on a very important issue. And, and I wrestled with this when I was chief of staff of the FBI back in 2003, back when we were trying to expand the number of state and locals who had clearances and you can only have them be fully engaged in something involving foreign terrorism in particular if a certain number of them have clearances. When okay. I came in, we did have a backlog. We had a pretty significant backlog for resource and procedural reasons. At the end of last year, we put together a task force that zeroed in on the backlog and largely got rid of the backlog. Okay, so from, from last year to today, what, what was the backlog and where is the number at today? Yeah, I don't have the exact number, but I can tell you this. We, largely got rid of the backlog, but then, for instance, we got 100 applications from okay. a, another state. Just so respecting, we, respecting both of our time. So we're saying, we're agreeing that there's a backlog, where we see that there's an issue. You're saying that when you, when you came in, uh, obviously you put together a strategy in order to diminish that backlog. So if we could give, just take a, a, a round number guess where it was at and where it's at today. I mean, is there a significant change? Is there you know, a few people that have been granted clearance? Are we making a, a difference that's actually giving law enforcement officers the, the intelligence that they need, or yes. are we not making a difference? So, so, sir, I don't have the exact numbers, but I will get those to you promptly. But I'll tell you that we largely got rid of the backlog. It's crept back up again. We now have more resources going into that so okay. that we don't allow the backlog to get out of So here. do you agree that it is, it is a priority to address Absolutely. the backlog and report report regularly to Congress on the progress. I mean, it seems like a common sense reform. Absolutely, and my state and local partners are very energized by this issue, so I hear about it a lot. So will you commit that your office will address the serious backlog so that our state, local, tribal, territorial law enforcement officers obtain the necessary information to ensure the public and obviously their safety? Absolutely, and we'll ask Congress for the resources to make that permanent. My time's just about expired, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.